Ever wondered what would transpire if an apocalypse happened on Earth? It's a thought-provoking question that tickles the imagination and sends shivers down the spine. Picture a world ravaged by an asteroid impact, consumed by the fires of a nuclear war, or brought to its knees by a deadly pandemic. These are just a few of the scenarios that could lead to a catastrophic end of the world as we know it. Now let's dive into the hypothetical scenario of an apocalypse and its aftermath. Imagine in an instant the world as you know it comes to an end. A cataclysmic event, an apocalypse that forever changes the landscape of our existence. It's not a scene from your favorite science fiction movie, but a hypothetical exploration of our delicate existence. In the blink of an eye, the initial shockwave of the apocalypse ripples through our world. The structures we've built, the monuments to our progress crumble as if they were made of sand. Highways fracture, buildings collapse, and our digital world, the interconnected web of information and communication we've grown to rely on, goes dark. The once bustling metropolises, the beating hearts of human civilization are reduced to ghost towns. Streets once teeming with life now echo with the haunting silence of abandonment. All around us, the infrastructure that once supported millions of lives is now a relic of a time that seems like a distant memory. In this new world, the rules of society no longer apply. Law and order, the social contract we've all signed, dissolve into thin air. Survival becomes the only law, the only order. Every man, woman, and child for themselves. The societal norms we've spent centuries crafting, the ethical boundaries we've drawn, they all seem to blur in the face of survival. And the human toll, it's unimaginable. Mass casualties become a grim reality. The loss of life, the loss of loved ones, it's a shared grief that permeates the air. It's a pain that's felt not just in the heart, but in the very fabric of our being. The immediate aftermath of the apocalypse is devastating. It's a world of chaos and despair, a world of loss and grief, but it's also a world of resilience and hope. For even in the face of the apocalypse, humanity endures. We adapt, we survive. The immediate aftermath of the apocalypse is devastating, but it's just the beginning. In the wake of the apocalypse, survivors are left to navigate a world turned upside down. Picture this. The once bustling city streets, now a barren wasteland, the once towering skyscrapers, now mere skeletons of their former selves. This is the aftermath. But life, as they say, finds a way. In the face of such adversity, the human spirit endures and the survivors must rise to the challenge. The first of these challenges is resources. With the collapse of civilization as we know it, the abundance we once took for granted is now a thing of the past. Food, water, medicine, these are the new currency. Every can of beans, every drop of drinkable water, every bandage holds the power to sustain life or to end it. This scarcity breeds another challenge, the absence of law and order. Without a functioning societal structure, anarchy reigns supreme. It's a lawless world where the strong prey on the weak, where might makes right. A world where trust is a luxury few can afford, but the physical struggles are only half the battle. The psychological toll of the apocalypse is a beast all its own. The survivors must grapple with the loss of loved ones, the destruction of their home, and the harsh new reality that surrounds them. It's a world of constant fear, of uncertainty, of despair. Yet in this bleak landscape there is a glimmer of hope. Survivors, driven by the innate human need for connection, band together. They form new societies, new factions, each with their own rules and customs. They share resources, provide protection, and offer a semblance of order amidst the chaos. They are the testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Life post-apocalypse is indeed about survival, but it's not just about clinging on to life by a thread. It's about the rediscovery of what makes us human. It's about the reformation of society from the ashes of the old. It's about the birth of a new world shaped by the lessons of the past. Life post-apocalypse is about survival, but it's also about rediscovery and reformation. In the ashes of the old world, a new one begins to take shape. As the dust settles from the cataclysm, humanity ever resilient begins the arduous task of rebuilding. But this is not a simple restoration of what once was. No, this is an opportunity for a fresh start, a chance to reimagine society and build something better from the ground up. In this new world, the old hierarchies have crumbled. The institutions of the past are just that, relics of a bygone era. Instead, we see the emergence of new societal structures founded on cooperation and mutual aid. In the absence of centralized power, communities band together, pooling their resources and skills to
to ensure their collective survival. It's a world where every voice matters, where the well-being of the many takes precedence over the wants of the few. But this new society isn't just about survival. It's about progress. Out of necessity, technological innovation flourishes. The ruins of the old world become a breeding ground for new ideas, as humanity pushes the boundaries of what is possible. We see the rise of sustainable technologies repurposing the detritus of the past into tools for the future. From the rubble, we build wind turbines, solar panels, hydroponic farms, harnessing the power of the earth to sustain life in ways we never thought possible. And yet, as much as this new world may seem alien, it is also strikingly familiar. The same spirit of innovation, the same drive for social progress that defined us before the apocalypse, continues to guide us. It's a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity, our ability to adapt and overcome any obstacle we face. This is our new normal. A world reshaped by catastrophe, yes, but also by hope. A world where every challenge is an opportunity, where every setback is a chance to learn, to grow, to build anew. In the face of devastation, the resilience of humanity shines through. So, we've journeyed through the hypothetical scenario of an apocalypse and its aftermath. We began with the end, delving into the chilling possibility of an apocalypse. Cataclysmic events, be they the work of Mother Nature or the result of human error, have the potential to drastically alter the world we know. The immediate aftermath would be a jarring transition into a new, harsh reality where survival becomes the primary focus. We explored the struggle to survive where basic necessities like food, water, and shelter would take precedence over everything else. The importance of adaptability and resourcefulness would be amplified in such a scenario. The world as we know it would become a distant memory replaced by a landscape marked by desolation and strife. But even in the face of such adversity, the human spirit endures. Over time, we'd see the rebirth of society. New norms, new rules, and new ways of living would emerge from the ashes of the old. It wouldn't be easy and it wouldn't be quick, but slowly, steadily, humanity would find a way to carry on. It's a grim scenario to contemplate, but it also highlights the indomitable spirit of humanity. Let's hope it remains purely hypothetical. This journey through a post-apocalyptic world isn't just about doom and gloom. It's about resilience, survival, and the enduring power of the human spirit. It's a testament to our ability to endure, adapt, and rebuild no matter the odds.